Welcome to my channel Sweeplan. This tutorial is how to change grid bureau color based on condition in ASP.NET-BB. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. The file menu, new website. Select Visual Basic. ASP.NET Web Form Site. Okay. Now, this is the DJBB.NET Project Tutorial folder, and the project website name is Change Grid Bureau Color. Click on OK. Yes, my project is ASP.NET Project is created. Design this is the default text. I just removed this all the text from this default.spx page. Okay, it's removed now. This is blank web form. In this blank web form, I will design with the grid view and button control. Okay, now I'm just adding a deep deep tag. Uh, the text is changed to get below color dynamically. I'll use this deep tag as a title. Okay, it's added. Change grid bureau color based on condition BB. Okay, it's align center because of this is the title of this page. Style, change the style. Title is a bit uh, large, so font size is large. Double X large, okay. Now I'm gonna add in the deep. In this deep tag, uh, first of all, go to the view and add toolbox. In this deep tag, I will add a grid view control from the toolbox. Just drag and drop the grid view from the toolbox. This is the grid view, ASP.NET grid view. Header style back color is green, okay. Now, choose the grid view is added. Now, uh, align the second deep uh, for grid view. Uh, align also center and the break control break. Now see the design. Yes, now it's looking nice. In the page load event, double click to go to the page load event. And in this uh, page load event, I'll write code to load data from the SQL Server database to data grid view. So, server explorer add connection, uh, select the server, catalog is bear SQL server authentication, username as and password is your database password, authentication password, say password and the database name is my test db, just select the database name, test connection succeeded and then click ok, yes, now it's connected, the data connection, ok, now expand the table, my table name is class info, exam info and student info, Okay, let's check the database in the server this is the server catalog SBR uh, what I selected uh, okay now start SQL server yes catalog SBR SQL server authentication login name S and password is uh, SQL server password okay now expand the database and expand the table my task DB and the tax table is a student info tab very top 200 rows yes these are the records in the a student info table okay now i'm uh, i'm i'll load the data from the sql server database to grid view uh, web form okay dim uh, first of all i'm going to connect with the sql can sql server to connect to the sql server with your project uh, add this code dim con as new sql connection add new space import system data to sql client uh, SQL connection to get the connection string right click on the database in the server explorer and go to the property just double click to copy copy the connection string and uh, face this connection string in the double quotation okay now it's connected with the uh, SQL server database con that open now SQL command dim cmd as new SQL command my SQL command is select star from student info tab my table name is student info tab ok 
call the Genshin Sting Khan. Yes. Now, uh, add SQL data adapter. Okay. Dim SD as new SQL data adapter called the CMD and finally let dim DT as new data table. I just declaring a data table. Finally, I will load the uh, data adapter CMD and the command in the DT data table. Add namespace using system.data. Yes, it's also added now. SD.fill DT. Finally, uh, load the dt in the data grid view to load it to grid view under data source equal to dt grid view under data bind reload this uh, browse in view in browser yeah yes oh sorry in the connection sting i forget to put the password uh, for the password my password is uh, uh for your password here okay now go to the browser and reload this page yes it's loading see that the records uh, have uh, seen in the SQL separate database it's uh, loaded in the uh, grid view in sp.net web form now uh, my main focus uh, main concept of this uh, uh, tutorial is uh, how to change grid view row color based on condition in asp.net using vb uh, to do that uh, go to the grid beyond row data bound command uh, in this row data bound command uh, add some line of codes if e dot row dot row type row type i mean uh, row data type uh, data control row type dot data row then if this is row if e dot row dot cell cell as you can see the index from uh, 0 1 2 3 4 uh, cell 2 i mean address is cell 2 and uh, dot text equal to usa then uh, now color uh, it will change the black color if uh, if the uh, cell is usa i mean address is usa so e dot row dot back color equal to uh, color or oh, is it add, uh, should add name specific in the system dot drawing okay it's important now color dot uh, select uh, your record color yes color dot red and the font color you dot row dot font color for color is uh, color dot white okay now save and go to the browser reload this page yes you can see the usa address usa two rows is address usa so it's uh, the back color is red and for color is white now i'm gonna change it to canada reload this page and check uh, the canada yes three third row canada address is canada so it's uh, back color is red and color is white okay now condition is s column applying this condition in s column uh, is if it dot cell two dot uh, text no, no it's not cell two this is cell three so change the cell three and text uh, i mean uh, a is greater than 25 and e dot row dot cell three less than 40 i mean 25 to 40 uh, the condition of light then my condition is 25 to 40 and uh, the back color and for color change will be 25 to 40 is uh, yes 25 to 40 uh, the uh, 334 and 35 so let's change the back color condition of light on is column greater than 25 and for uh, 25 to 40 adding multiple if condition uh, now I'm gonna add multiple if condition here is only one if condition mm, multiple if means if uh, and else if else if e dot row dot cell 3 I mean a is greater than 50 then uh, now 25 to 40 back color red and color white if it's greater than 40 then back color is yellow and color is black okay reload this page and uh, let's check once again yes it's okay but uh, now i'm gonna add them on more records uh, 
uh, student name Jack Chicago 25 uh, age condition applied on age column greater than 25 and less than 40 26 to 39 and greater than 50 I mean 51 to more you can see Chicago 55 so it's uh, back color is yellow and color is black okay color cell instead of row in grid view uh, yes still I just uh, changed the yes now it's uh, only uh, uh, change the uh, color of cell instead of row yes you can see in the s column cell 35 34 and 55 only uh, condition applied on s column greater than 25 and less than 40 yes greater than uh, 25 to 40 back color is uh, red and color white and more than 40 50 uh, back color is yellow and color is black now in the cell 2 it's applied in the cell 2 based on the cell 3 uh, column 3 yes I can see and the condition applied in the cell 2